Newport. Here we've got Ranger in the 27, driving to the inside of Kennington in the 17. Behind them, Noel Talbert, the best way to pick up a spot, let the car in front of you do the heavy lifting and drive on through the open. And that's exactly what he does. Here comes the 84 of Fitzpatrick, too. He won't get that hole before it closes up. Dowler now looking to the inside of the 27. And Great. Sorry, Dave. Great battle in the top five. Simone to the inside of Dilly. Riding on board, Mark Dilly. Fifth spot for the 0-2 Johnsonville Ford as he tucks in behind the number 95 of Anthony Simone. You see a little bit of wear on the front bumper of that Dodge. Yeah, I was trying to see what that was. Is Dowler looking to pick up another spot? He's to the inside of Ranger in the 27. So two wins in the last month for Andrew Ranger, but tonight not going his way as they battle for seven. Good run for the youngster. Noel Dowler in the five. Again, was right up in the front leading this race. Got around and He's had to battle his way back. And look at the pieces falling off. The Tim Hortons dodge right, to the 76. Right, and Lapsovich as he goes way up in the oh, race track, right, up right, into the marbles. I don't know what happened there with Lapsovich. He missed that corner by a lot and the car going up a little bit high there as well so see maybe a tire going down or if he just missed his mark Dave. He might have just overcooked it going into one. You see a lot different from when we started this race. If we started this race it was still daylight. Now we're under the lights here at Autodrome St. Estat so it might be a little bit different judging your distances. You know that could be Dave as we look at Alice Gannett in second and what a night at the office for Scott Steck he just continues to pull away under green. Riding aboard, Alex Gannett. Two laps to go now for your race leader in the Canadian Tire Dodge, Scott Steckley. There is your points leader. Sitting comfortably in third place, L.P. Dubelay. Look at the space he has around him. That's exactly what he wanted to see coming out of St. Estache. Steckley going to see the white flag this time as he closes in on J.R. Fitzpatrick in the 84. One more time around. He can almost kick it into cruise control at this point. The spotter telling him no pressure. The only thing he has to deal with is J.R. Fitzpatrick, and he's got plenty of room. And he will follow the 84 through 3 and 4 for the final time. And Scott Steckley is going to win his first of 2014. He'll win the National 250. Gannett and L.P. Dubelay will round out the top three. Anthony Simone with a great run finishing fourth. Lots of his rounds out the top five. And Todd's down, joining the celebration with a happy crew chief. John. Randy Steckley, well, I don't know what it is about this place, but that driver of yours sure seems to like it. Yeah, he does. We do, uh, we do real well here, and it's about time for a win, so uh, can't thank this crew enough. They do an awesome job all day, and like I said before, we got the best driver on the deal here, so congratulations. It took him six tries in 2014, but the 22 will finally visit Victory Lane.